Thank you, Mr. President, chairpersons, and members of the audience. I feel privileged here standing representing the non-Indian doctors and feel privileged to also to have received the, one of the first recipients of the scholarship for non-Indian doctors introduced by the society last year. Uh, just for introduction, I'm a clinical fellow at the Middlesbrough unit for the last two years. So with no precedent about how to utilize the funding, um, it was a bit in the dark. I was a bit in the dark uh, about how to utilize this. Uh, I do have an interest developing in minimally invasive cardiac surgery with particular focus on mitral valve surgery. So with plenty of guidance from my mentors, I put in an application designed to utilize the funding as a traveling fellowship with the areas uh, covering those two interests of mine and to develop uh, uh, further knowledge and experience in those areas. And for that, I chose a course and uh, three observerships. And uh, surprisingly, the application got approved. And uh, once I got the funding, I applied to this course, uh, the Revolution Summit at the Methodist Hospital in Houston. Over three and a half days, they cover the entire range of minimally invasive cardiac procedures alone, uh, all range of procedures from mitral valve, aortic valve, AF ablations, um, through lectures by leading experts and through extensive cadaveric demonstrations in their uh, lab, which they call MITE, on the fifth floor of this hospital. Uh, they even have a hybrid suite purely for training purposes with uh, just impressive CT guided imaging procedures. Uh, the second leg, I spent four days with Professor Obadia at uh, Lyon in France, who is a, he's a well-known authority in minimally invasive mitral surgery, developing new techniques and instruments. Uh, so through those four days, I spent uh, watching him do minimally invasive mitral procedures, but also the rest of his faculty at his department doing other variety of operations, including valve sparing, aortic root surgery, and some fantastic off-pump operations. For part three, this was the longest leg of this uh, fellowship. Uh, so I went to the Leipzig Heart Center. It's just a massive unit with nine theaters, two of them hybrid suites spread over two floors. It's just a different experience for me. Uh, but some innovative procedures that I saw was, uh, one of them was multi-vessel off-pump grafting through a thoracotomy using bilateral memories with Lima-Rima Y configurations. One interesting thing I saw was a reusable Lima to LED stabilizer, and when I said that we use the uh, disposable octopus stabilizer, they were quite surprised that we had the funding for it. And they actually used these stabilizers for most of their uh, Lima to LED anastomosis anyway. But also the interesting thing was, which I'm not familiar with, uh, any of us do here in the UK, is the routine use of uh, transit time flow metry. And uh, they actually do routine measurements of troponins afterwards, and their uh, rates of re-intervention for any problems are quite high, actually. Uh, but they do pay attention to that. And that was something uh, I learned as well, and I'll probably put it into my practice eventually. Uh, but... Uh, I did see several minimally invasive mitral operations, valve pairing, aortic root surgery, and through their busy schedule, it was just surprising how they managed to utilize their data time so efficiently. These were all pretty straightforward to go through, just write an email and you get through their doors. <laughs> I did plan the fourth leg uh, with Dr. Adams spending a week at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, and I hadn't realized that it would be so tricky. It was almost painful because I had to get two, flu, uh, two immunization jabs, flu and DPT, sit through half a day of their training course for file lectures and uh, patient confidentiality, and only then they let me through, uh, including about two months of paperwork. Uh, but once I got through, it was just an amazing experience. Three to four mitral cases every day, so over four days of their operating time, I saw about uh, 15 cases None of them replacements, all kinds of complex pathologies, by leaflet prolapse, redo mitral repairs. It was just an amazing experience, including their clinic, which I sat through one day. Uh, interesting patients, not just in terms of their complex pathologies, but it was intimidating for me to see somebody walking in with an echocardiography textbook and discussing the indications for their operation and the techniques. Uh, so overall, a busy year. Uh, with all these uh, 
interesting experiences, but a very enriching one, very stimulating one, and lots of learning points that I could bring back. And eventually, when I do get there, I will try and incorporate those. I'm really grateful to Mr. Inescu and the SCTS for recognizing the role of the non-NTN doctors and contributing to their education through this uh, scholarship. Also, the surgical tutors and the panel of judges who thought my application was worthy of that. And last but not the least, my trainers and mentors who have encouraged me and supported me through this process. Thank you very much. <laughs>